are back with another video to share with you and today I am going to show you how it is I clean Roxy's face. Now I do this on a daily basis and the same with Pixie but Roxy is going to be my model for today just because we have been having issues with her tear stains. Now if she's going to sit up for me then I'll be able to show you properly how it is that we do this otherwise I might need to move my camera and as well as showing you how I clean her face I'm going to show you a few products that you could use to help prevent tear stains and it's good to keep the face clean. So first of all I need a comb. Now I use the Chris Christensen face and feet comb which is this one here and I've had this for about a year now since the dogs were long haired and it is really really good. It's quite fine spaces in between the prongs so it gets in all the dirt. So first off you need your comb and then I'm going to use a wipe for the moustache. Now I usually get the eye wipes but because I don't have any of them just now I'm using these which we got in our paw post box just because these are quite soapy. Now these are five humongous wipes. You only get five in the pack and they are huge. So what I've done is I've took one out and I've cut it up into little squares just because I'm only needing to use a very small amount. I find it probably quite a waste if I was to use the whole thing just on her face. I don't want to have to use the wipe on her face and then have to use the same wipe on Pixie's face because that's not exactly clean, is it? Okay, and the next thing I have is the scissors. Now, I'm not going to do this because I've just recently done this. But the scissors, this is what I use to cut above Roxy's face to cut above Roxy's eyes. Now they are the safe scissors. So they've got the, the wee knobbly bit on the end. If I can focus, 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 focus. There you go. So it's got the wee kind of safe bit that's, that's not got a point in the end of it. So they are quite safe to use. And this is what I use to cut above her nose. So I'm not going to do that. I do that every time I see it growing. I just give it a wee trim and a wee snip. I don't let it grow dead big. But this is my square wipe. And that is the size I use. And all I'm going to do, if she's going to let me, you need to lie down to let people see. Now, you're going to behave, okay? Sorry, you can't see that. Come on, Roxy. So we're going in and wiping down and just keeping that area nice and clean and the same again lie down La lie down come on she's a bit fussy and the same again on the other side so just keeping that area clean her eyes do run quite a lot so they do get quite watery and that sits on the hair and obviously stains it. So the next thing I'm going to do with my wipe is I am going to take one side of the moustache and all I'm going to do is grab the moustache in with the wipe and just move my fingers so that the wet wipe basically goes in about all the hair. And I do this on both sides. I'm hoping you guys can see this. I'll probably look at this afterwards and be like, yeah, that was a complete waste because you can't even see. Okay, let's try the other side. Okay, she hates her face getting cleaned, but you need to do it because we want to get rid of this brown moustache. Okay, now, all that does is wets the hair and basically cleans it as well. And what I'm going to do now, I'm going to take my face comb and I am going to brush down the moustache. And this helps get any bit of food out of the moustache. Now our face is relatively clean today, probably because the bits of food are on the floor when she's washed her face and wiped her face on the floor. But that is all I do. And the same again on the other side. 
and it also helps get out any tugs or knots that could be in the moustache because she was really bad. So there's not really any chunks of food, usually there is and that's how I would get them out is by using this brush. But this is how we clean the face. And we do this as much as we can, sometimes it's not always possible daily because of the shifts that I do um, but we do it quite regularly maybe every second day or something we would try and get it done there we go let me see oh beautiful beautiful and as you can see I have gathered hair up in the comb just there and that is where all the gunk would be. So that is how I clean her face and it's, it's the same with Pixie as well. I do the same process um, with Pixie and I do need to get some proper eye wipes but that is what we use just now and there she's a wee and a half. Wee and a half. Mm -hmm. Okay now I also use um, every now and then when I bath the dogs, which is probably every two weeks just now, every two to three weeks I try and bath them, they get a wee bit of treatment on their moustache and it is this Spa Lavish Tear Stain Remover. Sorry Roxy, I just about whacked you in the face with that. And basically what this does is it's a facial cleanser, tearless oatmeal and blueberry liquid that you put on to the moustache. Now I've had this for probably about a year now and you can see that that's all I've used. There's been times where I've not used it but I'm using it now every time I bath them. Now anyway just to keep the tear, the tear stains away and to help lighten up the rest of her face. So you only really need to use like a five pence piece worth of this and you basically just massage that into the moustache. I just use my fingers, people use like a baby toothbrush and basically brush it into their moustache and I let that sit on the moustache while I basically shampoo the rest over and I wash that off first and this comes off last so it basically gets a chance to sit and soak into her hair. You can get this on the Christie's Direct website and I think I actually got this on Amazon. You could probably get it on eBay as well. You can just type this into anywhere and you could probably get it eBay, Amazon, Christie's Direct, anywhere. So it's really, really good to have and it smells really nice as well. So that helps with the tear stains. Also because she has a white moustache, well it should have a white moustache and so does Pixie, we use this Chris Christensen White on White and it's a whitening treatment shampoo. Now we've had this again for about a year and I still have about that much left in it just because I don't use it all the time. I kind of alternate between this and the blueberry facial um, and what this does is helps whiten the moustache. I've not really noticed a difference in this white on white shampoo treatment I think because I don't use it all the time but it is really really good for preventing tear stains and preventing the moustache from staining and that is also available on Christie's Direct and again you could probably get it on Amazon. This is just a kind of travel size bottle, sample bottle and it's really really good and it is literally like I was shocked to see the colour of it. That you can see it is like purple but it smells really really nice. I've not used it on their face for a long time. I prefer just to stay with the spa lavish. Okay you guys so that is us and oh where's Roxy gone? Where's she's here in a half. That is us and that's how I wash Pixie and Roxy's face and we do that every couple of days as much as we can. If you have any comments please leave me one down in the comments box and give us a, a thumbs up if you like this video and as always please subscribe to our channel and we will see you guys later. Bye!